Imagine the data center needs you need to have to do this. How close you need to be to the customer to do that. Edge data centers will be required. We're talking about being closer to the eyeballs. This is as close as you will need to get to enable the service. Driverless cars. Now, 5G is rumored to enable driverless cars, low latency, and so on. But what people forget is the amount of data that a driverless car will generate. Four terabytes per day is what Intel estimates a typical driverless car to be generating. That's truly staggering. Imagine 10,000 driverless cars per day in Jakarta. The amount of data that you will need to store or process is it's beyond imagination. Cameras, sensors, videos, and obviously 5G, which we know well, which will drive edge computing, uh, and obviously a lot of applications that are compute heavy. Secondly, artificial intelligence, IoT, blockchain, all applications that require either heavy computing power, a lot of data storage, a lot of analytics, and mostly closer to the edge, more and more. Huawei recently launching an AI and blockchain services in Hong Kong. I think it was this week as well. So to show you how relevant these services have become. Now, as promised, elephant. What's the elephant in the room for telcos? Because, let's be honest, there's a lot of telcos in the room that have ambitions in the cloud. What is the elephant in the room is Telcos are selling their data centers. A lot of operators are actually decided to exit the data center business because they realize that it can be done cheaper elsewhere. The economies of scale of digital realty, Equinix, AWS, is way beyond an at t horizon. So they decided to sell off their assets and invest that money in 5G, 4G, and so on. That doesn't mean they're exiting the cloud business. They're still offering cloud services. Which brings me to the next and final slide. What is the role of cloud for a telco? And let me share you facts and how they translate to potential strategies for telcos. Fact number one, the traffic data center to data center or data center to customer is growing 30% per year. I got that from our friends at Cisco using their VNI. That obviously means that there's a lot of carrier needs. The, the number of bandwidth that we'll be needing to interconnect data centers domestically or internationally will increase dramatically. Now, I've shared you a slide where actually the big players already investing 